What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm going to show you the UEFI BIOS on ASUS's Z87 Expert motherboard. This BIOS is pretty much the same across all Z87 motherboards from ASUS. Um, the ROG boards are a little bit different as well as the Griffin board and a couple other boards are just a little bit different as far as the BIOS looks, but the features are pretty much the same. So when you go into the BIOS, this is the screen that you're gonna see first. And what this is, this is kind of like the easy screen or the beginner screen. What this does is gives you a lot of options that you can set really quickly in a graphical manner so it's much easier to find. Just for basic things, um, up here you have all your information, your time and everything like that. You can also change the language um, with, with this drop down, which is actually pretty cool. You can see your CPU information, um, temperature, as well as voltage. You can see your DRAM information. And what's cool about this is you can set your different XMP modes. So you, this is easy. You know, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do when you're building a new system is set your XMP profile on your memory. You can do that right in here. So you can see we can set our two different profiles or completely disable it. Over here, we can see all our fans and what they are running at. And what's really cool about this is if we bring down this drop down, we can set our fans to different modes, standard, silent, turbo, and manual. And what we can actually do is do that for all the fans. As you can see, this drop down shows all the fans that we have connected and we can set them on their different modes. We have system performance, um, just a performance setting. So we have power saving, normal, and ASUS optimal. Down here, we do have our boot priority. So we only have one drive connected, um, but if there was more, they would be listed here and you can easily select them for your boot priority. Um, the shortcut menu here is F3, um, which just in this section just allows you to go to the shortcut to CPU temperature. We have our SATA information. So this lists all of your SATA ports and what's connected. And as you can see here, we only have a single drive connected. We have our boot menu, which again will list your bootable drives. And again, we only have one connected, so that is listed here. And then we have down here, F5 would be your defaults. You can go ahead and go into the defaults. Now this is for beginners. Now we're gonna go to advanced mode. You can either hit this, um, go up here and hit it, or just hit F7. So we'll go ahead and enter advanced mode. And in advanced mode, this is your typical BIOS that you're used to seeing from ASUS. It's more, uh, again, geared towards advanced users and everything like that. So on the main screen, we have all of our information here. Um, some things to note really quick. Um, there's this new function called Quick Note. And what this actually allows me to do is open a note and um, say, I've tried to overclock, say overclocking didn't, oops, didn't work and we hit save and quit. And next time I go into my notes, I can see that overclocking didn't work. Um, it's really, really cool. Usually when we're overclocking or you're doing something in BIOS, you usually take notes and see what's working, see what's, you know, what isn't working. You write down your values. You can do that all right in the BIOS so you never lose that piece of paper. Um, very, very cool. And again, you can go over to your last modified settings as well um, and you can click that. Now, another cool thing about the BIOS is the My Favorites button or tab rather. This tab allows you to have your favorite settings all in one place. So what I can do is, you know, all I have to do is select a cursor over a selected item and hit F4 on the keyboard to go ahead and add it to the favorites page. So we'll go in here and the AI overclock tuner. So we should hit F4 and add to favorites page and we hit OK. So now the AI overclock tuner is right in there. So I can easily go in and you know do all of that right in this main my favorite section. We'll go over to the AI tweaker. Now this is everything that you're gonna need to overclock your system to set to certain speeds as well as voltages. So it gives you all of your targets here for everything. AI overclock tuner, you can set that to auto, manual, or XMP. I'm not gonna go over every certain thing because this video would be 30 minutes long, but um, just all of your main things to overclock everything. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set your CPU core ratio, that is very important. And you are gonna to want to set your DRAM frequency right down here. Um, you have OC tuner as well, and you can set that to ratio first or BCLK first. Um, and then you can set your, your power modes, um, you can enable those. And now you can go into these three different sections. You have DRAM timing control, which is all of your timings for your memory. You can set those all up as you wish. Of course, if you're overclocking memory, this is where you're gonna to wanna to change your timings. 
and we have Digi Plus Power Control. This is all your power control. It's all digital now, so you can set all of those certain things in here. And then we go to CPU power management. This is where you can turn on Intel Speed Step, set the different CPU specific things all right in here. And then if we scroll down, we have all of our voltages. So you can set all of your voltages and everything like that right here in this section. Now we can go over to advanced tab and this is all of your normal information. You can set up all of your different things, your SATA ports, USB, everything like that. Um, one thing that is specific to this board is you do have Intel Thunderbolt. So you can set those different things for Thunderbolt on this board specifically. So we can go back into our monitor and this is your monitor for everything. So you're not sure if your CPU cooler is working correctly or something's not working. You can see all of your temperatures and all of your voltages right here. You can also set your, your uh, Q control for your fans. What means is that the system will not boot up if the, the CPU fan is lower than 600 RPMs. And of course you can change that for your different fans or whatever you are using. Um, I have all these set to auto you know, you can change these if you want, um, you know, from the standard setting to silent turbo and manual, all of that right in here. It's really, really cool. And we go over to boot. And of course that is all of your boot configuration and everything like that. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, one thing that is in here, you can do a boot override. So if you just want to boot to a specific drive, you can just go ahead and select it right here and it'll boot right to that drive. And then we have tools here. We have the Easy Flash 2 utility, which we've gone over before. This allows you to easily flash your BIOS with a USB flash drive. We have overclocking profiles. This allows you to um, load an overclock overclocking profile specific to this board. And then we have our SPD information, which of course, if we go into, we'll show you your SPD information for your uh, different memory sticks. And that is basically it here. I mean, it is a really nice job. Um, everything is pretty much all in the same um, place where you want it to be. It's not a ton of menus to go through if you're really trying to change everything. Asus has made it pretty easy. And of course, you know, if you go back into the normal menu, um, the easy menu, you can do everything really quickly if you don't have to go into all these other menus. So this has been our quick overview of Asus's UEFI BIOS on the Z87 Expert motherboard. Make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org so we're going to have a review of that motherboard. If you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And remember guys, if you like this video, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.